Matchup between two uh, pretty highly regarded prospects in this fight. You come out with the victory. What, what does that say about your development thus far, just three bouts into your UFC career? Um, you know, I think, uh, like I said earlier, I had one other interview. I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, you know, Christos is a really, really tough young fighter. Um, I think he and I have a lot of similarities. So it took a lot of will, a lot of guts and determination to get past him. He he never stopped fighting until the very end. I heard him a couple times and uh, I, I had his neck a few times and he never he never forgot where he was. He never stopped fighting. So uh, hats off to him. You know, I, I think it, it means a lot. You know, to go three and zero. This is the best organization in, in the world for fighting. So to be undefeated uh, in the UFC is just it, it's a dream. Was it surprising that on a couple of occasions Christos kind of punched or st struck his way kind of into the clinch, kind of into your wheelhouse? Um, you know, no. I, he, I knew he was going to apply pressure, especially as he got more desperate and the fight wore on. You know, as fatigue sets in a little bit, it's a little tougher to keep these guys off of you when they, their corner is telling them, hey, you're down two rounds to none, you need a finish. Of course, if that's a tough-willed fighter, he's going to come forward, he's going to try to finish that fight. I'm just mad at myself, you know, these guys have been yelling at me, they're going to probably try to punch me again when I get out of here for backing straight up when, I'm, when I get fatigued, rather than circling out and using some of my punches and kicks to kind of skirt him and really discourage him from coming in. So that's just, uh, I need to uh, you know, learn from that and I gotta do a better job next time. A lot of scorecards probably had you up two to nothing going into the third round. Was yeah. it just that work of grinding for takedowns that kind of took it out of you heading into that final frame? You know, these these uh, fans and uh, even some of the, you know, some of the people who know the sport but haven't necessarily been in the cage, they don't understand the most fatiguing part of this sport is, gra is the grappling aspect. Whether it be on the mat or on the cage or trying to finish that takedown, it wears on you like nothing else. I mean, I'm talking about taking a punch, taking a kick. It's just absolutely grueling. So yeah, unfortunately, part of the you know, double-edged sword, you score a lot of good takedowns and it's gonna weigh on you a little bit, yeah. Was there anything else that uh, pleased you in this fight that maybe you hadn't gotten the show in other fights yet? Yeah, I landed some shots that I haven't landed in the in the past and I kind of sat in there and I was trying to pick them apart a little bit, especially early on. I mean, I know um, I got them real good with a stepping elbow that uh, my coach Joe and uh, LaFleur and I have been working on quite a bit and he, you know, it looks like he's going to need to get something done with that. So. I followed it up. I, I landed some clean head kicks. I landed a really good knee to his head, uh, breaking the clinch. So there were moments, yeah, but the, still more development needs to take place. Are you get, can I answer the question? I know you, the fight just got done. You don't have a really long time to think about it. Yeah. But when you go through a battle like this and you're pushed to the, the end and it goes to a decision, what do you learn from these fights? And what do you think you'll learn from this one? I mean, I, you learn... Uh, you learn uh, a little bit about your mental toughness, your fortitude for sure, but uh, you also learn to start to streamline things so that you don't have to be put in those situations where you're digging and digging and digging all the time at the end. Um, I was really upset with myself my last fight. I'm, I was just was talking to my coaches uh, today. I still haven't watched the fight because I was just disgusted about it, even though I dominated uh, the win on the scorecards. You know, it's just I, I put a lot of expectations, a lot of pressure on myself. So um, I immediately, I know in my head, I feel better about this one right away. I just, you get that sense. So, uh, you know, gonna go back home, enjoy it, enjoy my daughter and enjoy my family and uh, and then back back to work. Gotta get better, gotta keep, keep uh, this is a big division. So work, work, work. And now you got a few more wins, so you, I'm sure you got a, probably a few more fans. What would you like to say to uh, some new fans that you probably picked up out there? You know, just thank you so much for your support. Uh, we, we wouldn't have this without you guys. You know, follow me at T Wade MMA. Uh, let's get this thing legalized in New York, please. You know, I want to fight at home so, so bad. There's no reason that we shouldn't be able to uh, to work in our home state. It's, it's just, uh, it's travesty to me that we can't do what we love at home because people's opinions of this sport so help us out let's go